sort of missed, missed it. <laughs> What I mean by it is the pandemic had its like two year anniversary. Saturday everyone. So basically this day I woke up and I had had a really really busy kind of chaotic week just like all this like random stuff started coming up and um a lot of my work got pushed so this coming Wednesday I have like this big marketing portfolio due for my marketing class and <laughs> you couldn't figure that one out. Um I'm sorry I'm being so crazy right now. I'm just like being so weird and crazy like <laughs> No one should ever see the beef from this angle. Not, not a single time. Nope. Okay, back to it. But... Yeah, so... <laughs> So I was definitely a little stressed about this this whole week and I was procrastinating a great deal. It is Saturday, the project is due on Wednesday. I do have, you know, a good bit of work to do, but I didn't really want to overwhelm myself because I think jumping cold right into a project never really ends up working for me. I basically sort of planned out to have like an hour to really sit down with the materials of the project. So, you know, the like look at the rubric, you know, previous examples of the project and just sort of like get my own like juices flowing. And so I sat with like my to-do list and just other things that I have going on this week besides this project, just to sort of like sort out my head. So yeah, that's just kind of what I was up to. And then I went to the gym. I got Bluetooth headphones this week because my phone basically, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I got I got new headphones this week. Um, I got myself Bluetooth headphones and something that you should know about me <laughs> is that um, I I can I can be quite cheap sometimes and so what I've been doing is I haven't bought new headphones in a really long time because you get free ones when you fly British Airways. <laughs> so every time I need new headphones, like if I'm just like flying, I'm like I paid for the plane ticket. I might as well take some, you know, complimentary headphones. <laughs> Which, if you know anything about air airplane headphones, like they're really bad. Like in my head, I was like, they're not that different. <laughs> but I got these new headphones, and like, oh my god, they're so different, and they're awesome, and I'm so happy. And you know, I was just like doing things like getting rid of mail, because I did. I forgot I had a mailbox, and I went to go check my mail the other day. I had mail, which is so cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> why do you watch this channel? Absolutely, why do you watch this? Why do you watch this channel? If you're ahead is up 
had like a check-in in a while. Yeah, and I just wanted to talk. I have been like, I've been thinking a lot this week. <laughs> that's, oh, that's always a good start. And I've, th I've been thinking a lot because it's, I sort of missed, missed it. <laughs> What I mean by it is the pandemic had its like two year anniversary, I guess a couple of weeks ago and it sort of passed and then a couple days went by and I was like, wait, weird, weirdest experience because like I kind of forgot about it. I don't know. I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that's a weird thing to admit or what, but honestly, I have been so invested in my life here and like what's going on. I low-key forgot about the pandemic and I think that this anniversary came up and it was just super weird. <laughs> It's such a stupid way to put that. I don't know what else, I don't know how else to put that except that it was weird. I know there's like so many jokes about how like the pandemic aged us all like five years and it's been really weird like for me mentally because last year I took the year off and I was like away from people my age for like literally a whole year. Like I didn't, except for like my really close friends who were like doing online school. But like even then we would like, <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't see my family. I didn't see my friends for the whole entire year pretty much. Like except when we all got vaccinated in the spring, in the summer, like in the, in the summer months, we would sit in like a park, like, you know, eight feet apart. Or like we would sit, like I would sit in the trunk of my car and then my other friend would sit in like her, the trunk of her car. And then we would talk to each other from the trunks of the cars. I went from that situation to then coming here. Being an international student is like, weird especially at my age because like i'm 22 and i'm living with like pretty much teenagers <laughs> that gets a little weird sometimes so i kind of feel like i'm a freshman again when like i hang out with like those people but then i don't know it's just it's all very weird and like i'm really trying to commit myself to like a life here and you know just doing stuff which is fun and like i'm having a lot of fun it, yeah i don't know it's like weird to go from like feeling guilty i feel like feel like guilty but like being so stressed out about like every little thing to like being normal again and like do I feel I think I don't feel guilty about it but like I'm like wait should I does that make any sense I don't think that makes any sense and I don't know if it is gonna make any sense <laughs> you know I don't know if it was because of that or just like because of like just honestly like what a genuinely peaceful and just like nice year that I'm having. She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. That like I, like I think for the first time in like a really long time, I'm quite like open to the future. And I think that I, I have absolutely no idea what it looks like. And I think like for my first couple years of college, I was like, oh, like this is the direction that my life is gonna go in. I can't, I don't really have all the pieces, but I know I'm gonna do this year abroad. And like, I was sort of focused on that for a while. And then like oh, for only a while, it's just like the pandemic is, you know, gotta get through that. And so I think for the first time, like in a while, I'm like, I've like sort of like allowed myself to like be, be young and like feel lighter. Yeah, it just, it's a, it's a very nice experience. Like just, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what the point of this is to tell you. I, I don't want to like come on here and be like, oh, like I'm so, I'm doing so well. Cause like, <laughs> like there, you know, I have a whole other video coming up, coming up soon about like, about, like homesickness. Cause like that's, that's also a thing. But, but like in general, I'm like, I'm like feeling very positive for the first time in a while and I don't know if other people are maybe feeling this because it's like this anniversary came around and like I think when this anniversary came around last year it was like mm, look how far we are people were like just getting vaccinated and the world was still like teetering back to normal I think I just have like a lot of moments here where I'm like like I take a moment and I take a, like a, a step back and I'm like like I'm doing good <laughs> like where's where's the problem though you know what I mean like where's the issue yeah I don't know <laughs> it's like this is like a therapy session that goes nowhere sometimes